I want to quickly compare and contrast uh, several Quicken products. So we have the Deluxe, the Premier, the Starter, and the Home and Business. So we really are going to go through our Quicken products today. So here's our overview I want you to really pay attention to. The big question is, which Quicken is best for you? Which Quicken product is best for you? And the thing here is that, you know, you, you are going to think first again about your situation. What, what is your uh, priority in terms of budgeting or in terms of uh, personal finance or business finance, right? This will actually dictate the type of uh, Quicken product that's right for you. But let, before we actually talk about uh, the product that you need right now, let's have a conversation about reliability. Is Quicken reliable? Yes, absolutely. Quicken has established itself as a reliable and trusted personal finance software for decades, and it has a solid track record of delivering accurate and secure financial management tools to millions of users worldwide. And the thing is that you actually can use the Quicken also for your uh, for your business finance, as well as you don't have a like a, a broad business operation. Okay. And the cool thing is you also have a, a 30 day money back guarantee that you actually uh, can uh, can avail yourself of to see exactly what's happening now. Quicken does not have a free version. That's really important to really understand. And you, you, you don't have to buy Quicken every year. Quicken operates on a subscription model, which means you pay for an annual subscription to access the software and receive updates. However, you can choose not to renew your, your subscription if you're not satisfied with the version you, you currently have. So it's really, um, it's really up to you. And you can actually uh, continue to use Quicken even if you don't re renew. That's fine. The thing here is that it's important to know that without an active subscription, you will not receive software updates, security patches, or new features. Additionally, online services such as downloading transactions, investment quotes, and bill pay will be unavailable. And so Quicken, can, you can actually use Quicken with the internet, like online or offline. It really depends on you. But getting the best out of the software features require an internet connection because it, the thing is that the software is cloud-based. Cloud while you can manage your finance offline, features such as downloading transactions from your bank, updating stock prices, and paying bills online necessitate an internet connection. And you can actually, uh, the thing here is that you cannot actually uh, share your Quicken subscription. This is an intended for basically individual use and cannot be shared among multiple users. Each subscription is tied to a specific Quicken ID and is meant for personal finance ma financial management or a bit like a business management but for a very very small business now so the thing is it's really important to understand that uh, you want to really have the clear idea of the quicken tool the quicken uh, product that is right for you and this is what this show will be about boss welcome back to the show it's really a pleasure to have you, you to have you here make yourself comfortable you are going to enjoy today's conversation Let me talk to you about the first product. This is a Quicken Starter. So when you think about Quicken Starter, this is actually a, a tool that is just that covers just the basics. Okay. So when it comes to a personal finance management, Quicken has established itself as a very reliable and comprehensive software tool. And so when you think about Quicken Starter, you have a very uh, basic set of features. So basically, you have you you get web, desktop, Windows, and Mac, and mobile companion apps support. You can connect your banking and credit card accounts in one place. You can create a simple uh, monthly budget and see where your money is going. You have a free Quicken phone and, and chat support, and you have ease of use. So this is kind of cool. So for a Quicken, you have Quicken for iPad and iPhone. This is really good. So Quicken understand the importance of keeping up with uh, your finances on the go. So you, you have uh, with the Quicken for iPad and iPhone app, you can really easily download and manage your finances on your Apple device, whatever you are. And the cool thing is that you are able to track your spending, view balances, and monitor your budget from your mobile device. And uh, the, the cool thing is that we, the Quicken for iPad reviews are really, really positive. So you have a user-friendly interface and convenient features. Folks love it. You also have Quicken mobile app for Android. You also have a great experience there as well. And you are able to manage, again, your finance, your finances on the move. And what about Quicken on the web? Fantastic also. You are, you are able to do a lot of stuff. You can access your finances through Quicken on the web. So this feature allows you to review your financial data and make updates from any computer through the window, the Windows version or the Mac version with an internet connection. So this is kind of cool. And uh, you don't have to worry about actually up, like basically uh, updating the data if uh, you have uh, an online connection. You are able to connect your banking and credit card accounts in one place through the Quicken uh, starter. You are able to create a simple, 
monthly budget and see where your money your where your money is going and the cool thing is you have free quicken phone and chat support so when you have a quicken starter you have a constellation of uh, basic features basic uh, capabilities that can help you manage your money without anything complicated this is really the, the this is really the uh, the spirit here if you if, if you do not want to invest too much in personal budgeting or personal finance just go with the quicken starter it's really really fantastic boss I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Quicken Deluxe versus Premier versus Starter versus Home. Let's talk about Quicken Deluxe. So basically, here is a here, here is an app that is best for most people. So the thing here is that if you're considering if you are considering, let's say, an upgrade from Quicken Starter to Quicken Deluxe, you'll be pleased to know that Deluxe offers several additional features that can enhance your personal finance management experience. Okay, so when you, the thing is that you need to understand the features that really are you have in Deluxe are just fantastic. So these features will provide you with enhanced capabilities and functionality, making the difference between Starter and Deluxe. So you have access to all Quicken Starter features. You have a, you can create a customized 12 month budget and uh, ensure spending matches your goals. You, have, you can project uh, actually different scenarios for loans and investments. Use built-in calculators to plan ahead. You can connect banking, credit cards, loans, investment, and investments, and property. This is really good. So what you basically have uh, access to all quick, quick and starter features. Okay, you basically can connect your banking and credit card accounts and create a simple monthly budget to track your expenses. And uh, so basically, you have a you can create a customized 12-month budget. And ensure spending matches uh, your goals. The cool thing is that you are able to, to set targets for different spending categories and track your progress over time. So this level of customization and granularity, in our view, enables you to align your spending with your cash flow and long-term goals and make adjustments as needed. Again, the, the deluxe is really for those who really want to push the, uh, the budgeting uh, experience a little further. And so you can project several uh, scenarios and lo for loans and investments and you can use built-in calculators to plan ahead the built-in calculators as a matter of fact provided by deluxe assist you in making informed decisions and evaluating potential outcomes for loans and uh, investments so this feature empowers you to proactively and strategically manage your financial future so this is really really fantastic what we love about the whole thing here is that you are able to connect banking credit cards loans and investments and property all into all in a, in one sort of a centralized dashboard okay this is really good and so you are able to have a holistic view of your financial landscape and you can track your net worth and credit score monitor investment performance and stay on top of loan payments all within the quicken platform this is really fantastic Let's talk about Quicken Premier. So when you think about Quicken Premier, I want you to think about a tool that is primarily for the investor, okay? And we're talking about really, if you want to dig a little deeper here, you want to, if you are an investor and you want to dig a little deeper, this is really cool. And uh, so while manage, when managing your finances effectively, you, you can really love, you will love the fact that with uh, Premier, you have access to all Quicken Deluxe features. You can track and grow your investment portfolio with the most robust tools available. You can maximize tax benefits and ease prep with the built-in tax reports, and you can track and pay your bills from Quicken. Fantastic. So when we talk about you having access to all Quicken Deluxe features, we're speaking about things that like you can enjoy the benefits of creating customized budgets, projecting loan and investment scenarios, and connecting various financial accounts. You are able to track and grow your investment portfolio with the most robust tools available. We're talking here about you being able to track your investment in uh, your investments in real time, monitor performance, and analyze historical trends. You can stay informed with uh, with uh, up to date market quotes and portfolio analysis tools that enables you to make informed investment decisions. You also are able to, uh, you know, you have access to a tool that provides built in tax reports with premium categorizations, uh, categorization options that enable you to track your deductible expenses. And what we have seen in our in our research is that these features are great because the reports help you identify potential tax savings and ensure you have the necessary documentation for filing. So if you are an investor, really, you know, Quicken, the, the Premier is really great. And you are able also to track and pay your bills from Quicken. 
So Quicken Premier lets you track and pay your bills directly from the software. You, you know, just say goodbye to manual bill payment and late payment fees. Premier enables you to link your bills to your account and set reminders for due dates. You can even schedule payments within Quicken, making bill management effortless and ensuring you never miss a payment again. So this is really fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Well, when you think about the ability for you to manage everything from one place is really great. One thing I want to say also is that, you know, the deluxe, the premiere rather, the premiere really is for the investor who really wants to have a, I would say, a holistic view about his or her finances, but also a holistic view about his or her investments. It's important. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Quick and Deluxe versus Premier versus Starter versus Home. Let me talk to you about the fourth product here. It's Quicken Home and Business, not Quicken Home, Quicken Home and Business. So this actually, uh, this tool is for the small business owner. And the thing here is that, you know, when you think about uh, Quicken Home and Business, you basically have, uh, you, you have uh, features that, uh, you know, you have comprehensive features. Now, there is a little difference between uh, the Premiere and the Home and Business. And uh, so Quicken Premiere, so basically you have all access to, uh, I mean, you have access to all Quicken Premiere features, of course. You can manage personal and business finances together and separately if you want to. You can store business and rental property documents. You can manage tenants, payments, expenses, lease terms, rates, deposits, and more. So basically, when we talk about you having access to all Quicken Premier features, you basically uh, can still leverage the advanced investment tracking tools, built-in tax reports, and convenient bill management capabilities Premier offers. And with uh, Quicken Home and Business, you can also manage personal and business finances together and individually if you want to. So that ability to track income and expenses separately for each aspect of your financial life brings clarity and organization to your financial management process. What I want to see here is that, you know, we're speaking here about a very small business or a micro business. If you start having, uh, I would say, a broader a business with broader operations where you hire, let's say, five or 10 people, you are going to need accounting software There's a little more sophisticated, quote unquote, more sophisticated than uh, Quicken Home and Business, okay? And uh, so you are able to also store business and rental property documents. You can upload and sec securely store those documents, such as receipts, invoices, contracts, and lease agreements directly within the software. So this centralized document storage ensures that all important business and rental property paperwork is easily accessible and uh, securely stored in one place. So this is really cool. And what I want to say here is that you are able to, uh, to manage tenants, payments, expenses, lease terms, rates, you know, deposits and more. So this is kind of cool. And uh, so basically this is uh, the home and business allows you to streamline all the important processes within Quicken so that you are able to save time and effort, allowing you to focus on growing your business and maximizing profitability. And again, we're speaking here from a, a personal and or business perspective. Let me talk to you now about the pricing here because, you know, let's talk about all the four. So Quicken Deluxe, Premiere, Starter, and Home. What are we talking about here in terms of pricing? I want you to look right now on the screen here. You have, you can see the pricing here. So you have, uh, the, you have actually another app that we didn't cover in this one, in this conversation that's Simplify because Simplify really is focusing on uh, on a new generation, on a new target audience. So this is totally different from the other, uh, like the more traditional Quicken audience. So basically you have, you see the pricing for Quicken Home and Business, Quicken Premiere and Quicken uh, Deluxe. And for the starter, you basically have like, uh, you can have like a, a free version here. Okay. And what I want to say here is that you have several ways to actually buy uh, Quicken Deluxe, I mean Quicken products. You can actually uh, basically buy it at Walmart, at Amazon. You can buy it at uh, Best Buy, you know, but what we see, what we tell our, 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 our viewers and clients is that it's just a lot better to go to Quicken owns, uh, to Quicken's own website and buy it from there. I just wanted to say that you have the ability to actually uh, buy it from, from every, uh, everywhere. And uh, so the thing here is that when we talk about Quicken Starter, you need to understand that even Starter, you have to pay for it for something. You have to pay something because there is no free version of Quicken. And like many other software packages and apps, 
Quicken is now only available as a yearly subscription. So in some cases, they will just uh, let you uh, get away with a monthly subscription. So gone are the days where you could download a free version of Quicken and manage your personal finances without any cost. And so this is really this. What I, what I want to say here is that um, while it might be disappointing to hear that there is no free version of Quicken, it's really essential to understand that there are good reasons behind the change because see, Quicken he invests heavily in, in the app development updates and customer support so they really need to make money somewhere to be able to continue to actually offer this quality service this is why they're charging for 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 the for the usage okay and so if you want the uh, if you want the company to to provide a, ro a robust and reliable product to uh, all users they really need to have a, a subscription based model but overall this is a great tool and what i want to say here is that you have to ask yourself what are your priorities okay what are what are you willing to invest in what kind of uh, priorities do you want to tackle and that will dictate the kind of uh, strategy you have when it comes to Quicken. So let's review basically everything. So what are the, the pros and cons of Quicken in general? So basically, the Quicken advantages, you have streamlined financial management. What I'm telling you here, it doesn't matter what kind of product you have, whether you have the deluxe, the premiere, the starter, or the home and business, you basically are going to actually uh, face a few pros and also a few cons if you go with Quicken. So with uh, let's first talk about the pros. You have streamlined financial management. You have real-time insight. You have a user-friendly interface. You have customizable. Uh, you have a product that's customizable for your needs. And so when we talk about uh, streamlined financial management, we're talking about an all-in-one solution for managing your finances, okay? So Quicken really ensures that everything is automatically uploaded, actually, and updated by connecting your membership with various financial institutions, such as uh, bank accounts, credit cards, and investments. So this streamlined approach allows you to stay on top of your finances effortlessly. And so no more manually importing transactions or struggling to keep track of your expenses. You also have a real-time insight, so you always know where your where every dollar of yours is going and how much money you have left at the end of the month. Okay, so the, the software provides the real-time insights into your financial health, empowering you to make informed decisions about your budget and spending habits. And also, you have a user-friendly interface here. So, you know, when we talk about uh, Quicken overall, the, the, the user, the, the, the UX and UI, is just, are those two are wonderful. And you have a tool that you can customize for your needs, right? You, so you can see that whether you have uh, the deluxe, the premiere, the starter, or, or the home and business, really you have uh, all kinds of uh, audiences that are actually addressed here. So what are the Quicken disadvantages, the cons? You have a learning curve. So Quicken aims to be user-friendly. However, some users may still face a learning curve while, when getting started. The, the software has numerous features and functionalities and understanding how to utilize them effectively may take some time and effort. Also the cost. So Quicken is not free software, so the cost may be there and it may be a, a hindrance to some people. You also have dependency on connectivity, so you must be uh, connected to the, to the internet. And th there might be also some compatibility limitations. So well, while Quicken caters to both Mac and Windows users, there may still be some compatibility limitations with specific operating systems or devices. So when you think about Quicken, this, those are the stuff I want you to think about. And But overall, this is a... Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, a great software. We love the fact that they have a knowledgeable support team that ensures a smooth experience and prompt resolutions of prompt resolution of any concerns, making Quicken, in our view, a reliable choice for personalized assistance. So this is really, really wonderful. So the big question is: Is Quicken worth it? Yes, Quicken is definitely worth it. It's a really worth it when when you see the pros and cons of uh, this uh, software tool. You really, you're, it's really worth it. Now to sort of recap here: So the Quicken starter. Is actually uh, it's a great it's a great tool for for if you want to get the basics, okay. What about Quicken Deluxe? It is this is the software that is best for most users, most people. The Quicken Premiere is primarily for the investor, and the Quicken Home and Business is primarily for the small business owner. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I actually did a quick compare and contrast between Quicken Deluxe, Premiere, Stutter, and Home, and, and uh, Home and Business. So I give you the overview. 
And then I actually reviewed uh, each Quicken product. So the Quicken Starter, Quicken Deluxe, Quicken Premier, and Quicken uh, Home and Business. And then I spoke to you about the pricing. And then I did the, the entire review afterwards. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>